Hey guys, it's Mr. Offer. Now I decided to do a YouTube for my History 1302 eight week online class. Uh, wore my black hat. Good guys still wear black hats. Uh, so, a couple of things. My wife's shaking her head. She said, good guys do not wear black hats. I, I was always told that you wore your white hat in the spring in the black. Anyway, chase the rabbit too. So, kind of pay attention with me guys. This will be a short uh, video. I got a couple of things I really want to talk to you. First of all, I want to thank you guys for taking this course. Uh, this was a lot. I told you guys in the introduction, you took a lot of stuff and you finished it really quick. Okay. So you had a 16 week course that was condensed to eight weeks. If you didn't notice, I'm a lot thinner and I have a beard than I do in all the other ones there. See, uh, so I guess it was good for me. Uh, that and the keto diet. So, uh, kind of explain to you guys a couple of things. Number one, uh, you have exam five coming up. But I tell you what, before we talk about exam five, let me talk about that essay. Because that's things coming up, I believe, on the 30th. Now, guys, I'm going to be pretty strict on the essay. I've let a lot of you guys turn them in late. Uh, I'm not going to do that because i got to post these grades. I just don't have time for that. And I've got to read these essays. And I do read each one of them. Uh, and uh, I will read them and I will send it back to you. If you really want your paper, I can try. I don't I don't know if I, I may have a scanner here at the house. I'll see. We have a scanner. My wife says we have a scanner. So I might be able to, if you really want it, now hopefully not everybody's going to want it because I'll have to actually print, grade it, print it off, then scan it back to you. But anyway, uh, or I can tell you what, if, if, if you give me your, if you really want the graded copy back, that or give me your, send me your mailing address. Maybe cheaper for me just to drop a, a post stamp and mail it back to you. Some students want their papers, some don't. It just depends on. Uh, I, 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 I write notes on them, and you know. So here, here's the deal with your papers, guys. Uh, this paper has to be four complete pages plus a work cited page. That's five pages in all. Guys, so y'all will understand, when I grade papers, the first thing I do is I count pages. Under four written pages, I start off at a 60%. It can be written by Ernest Hemingway, and if it's a three and a half page paper, it's 60%. Remember, the work cited is extra on to that. So four plus a work cited. Chicago citing, guys. Okay, you've got. If you don't know how to Chicago cite, I gave you example papers. You, I, and recently I did a Google search under Chicago citing, and it will actually explain to you how to cite a Chicago paper. Uh, you will have to cite at the bottom of the pages in which you have mentioned and the work cited. So you will cite two places. Remember, your paper is who is the greatest president of the 20th century. I have got a lot of great Abraham Lincoln papers, but guess what? He wasn't the president in the 20th century. I've got Barack Obama papers. Uh, you know, he wasn't in the 20th century. I've got George Bush papers. He wasn't there. Who knows? Maybe even get a Donald Trump, but he wasn't there either. These are those are all 21st century presidents. So your paper will begin. You will start off with Theodore Roosevelt. You can go all the way to Bill Clinton. Now, I did not say you had to write from Bill Clinton all, from Roosevelt all the way to Clinton. You've got to pick one of them. Guys, I have included lots of videos about all these presidents. I will be glad to answer questions for you. We actually did a YouTube, uh, excuse me, I did a Zoom where all I did was answer questions about your presidents. Remember, you have to write two things in your paper. You've got to really emphasize. I want you to talk to me about their foreign policy, their domestic policy. Domestic policy, anything they do here, the economy, anything like that. Foreign policy, anything they do abroad. Good example. You wrote an FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He had the New Deal. That was his domestic policy. His foreign policy, World War II, dealing with the Japanese and the Germans during the war. So you got to look at both of those things, okay? All right, now now to the exam. Guys, uh, your exam, exam five, it's honor lock. You've already done one honor lock, so you know the rules to it. 
Be careful, don't get kicked out of that thing. It's very strict. Your test will open up on December the 3rd. That is Thursday at 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock a.m. It will be open all day the 3rd. It will be open all day the 4th. It will be open the 5th until 11.59 a.m. If you're like a lot of our students, you get a.m. and p.m. confused. 11.59 a.m. is at noon. It shuts down December the 5th. By the way, that's my birthday. December the 5th at noon, it shuts down. Now, guys, I've been very gracious with y'all on opening up tests. If you screwed them up and you go out locked out, I can't do it, guys, because I'm going to start grading these things literally 1 o'clock, one hour after you've taken it. I will begin putting together all your grades. Okay, I'll spend next week on your essays. I'll grade those. Then when your test comes in, that's, that's going to be plugged into Canvas. Then I go right into Campus Connect, and hopefully by Sunday morning, your final grade is posted and you're good to go. Uh, that's just important to remember. Make sure you got a good internet connection. Make sure you know the rules on AutoLock, like these hats. They would get on to me. You can't wear a hat. You can't have a bunch of people running around. Uh, Y'all know all the rules because they'll kick you out or they'll flag you, okay? So make sure you do all that. Other than that, guys, uh, uh, most of y'all already took my 1301. But if you haven't, I'll be teaching it again. I'll be also teaching another 2312 online class. Now, that's not a core class. It's World History Part 2. And it's a lot like this class, with the exception of you're not going to be as rushed up. And uh, I don't think you have as mere, nearly as many attendance quizzes. Anyway, it's a, if you need an elective, it's kind of a fun course to take. If you're definitely a history major, you need to take it. Other than that, guys, I appreciate it. And that will sum us up. Any questions, let me know. You guys, have a good Thanksgiving and a good Christmas.